we are going to see the basics of foreground and background for that we will set the project settings to 1920 by 1080 frame rate of 24 frames per second now i have these three files here the grass is my bg which is 1920 by 1080 the deer i have here and I have a tiger. I'll switch to Natron. In Natron, I will import the background images. I can go in this menu and say read or I can press R on keyboard to read the file. I'll go into my folder and the image which I want a BG I can preview it here and you can see my BG looks like this and I will say open once I get the BG I can see the properties of the file the first frame last frame and other options I can check it, the resolution of the image here, it is same like that of my project. Now my project is HD, full HD. I'll just connect this viewer to my image and I can see the preview of the image in my viewer. Now I will read another file press R and I will select the deer. Whenever I'll connect the deer to the viewer, you can see the deer in the viewer. I can switch the views by changing the line connection. Now, I will go into the merge I will, and I will add, add a merge node. Now merge node is very important if you have a background and a foreground. Merge node basically merges a background with the foreground. The B goes for background, the A goes for foreground. B for background, A for foreground. Now here I will arrange it as per my convenience and here the grass is the background so I'll connect this B to the grass and A to the deer. I will attach the viewer and you can see here in the window that the deer has came on the grass. I'll disable it and enable it for you to view. D is for disable and press D again to enable the view. Now if I need to scale it or translate it, I need to go in transform. The shortcut is T and I have a handle here which I can move it. I can scale it by holding the ring. I will place the deer wherever I want. Even I can scale it in X and Y direction but I don't recommend that. You can adjust or align the nodes as per your convenience so that it becomes easy for you to read. I will bring one more foreground that is the tiger which has got a resolution here into the scene. To add the tiger to it, now this section becomes the background and the tiger will become the, will become the foreground. I have to add one more merge node. Yeah. Now 
I will join the background to the B and I will join the tiger to the A. I will connect the viewer and you can see the tiger is in the scene. Now if I press T for transform, you can see here the tiger is on the upper layer of the deer. This is because I have attached the tiger to the foreground of the merge later. I can scale it and place the tiger wherever I want. Make sure your all nodes are visible and you can understand the flow of each node. My operator will be over because I just have a plain foreground and a background merge. Now whenever I'll click transform you can see the handle in the viewport. If I press O on the keyboard the overlay gets off. I can't see anything. If I press it again the overlays will be turned on and I can see the handle. When there are a lot of controls here it is better to go into the overlay off mode and view your composition.